Hi guys, this is Sarfaraz from Aristotle Prep and we are looking at question number 35 from uh, the OG13 uh, critical reasoning chapter. So the stimulus says the computer industries estimate that it loses millions of dollars when users illegally copy programs without paying for them is greatly exaggerated. So the losses that the industry is claiming it, it faces are greatly exaggerated. Most of the illegal copying is done by people with no serious interest in the programs. Thus, the loss to the industry is quite small because so whatever goes in the blank has to be an explanation of why, uh, according to the author of the argument, the losses uh, as claimed by the computer industry are greatly exaggerated. Okay, let's go through the option then. A says, many users who illegally copy programs never find any use for them. Whether the users find use or not doesn't take away from the fact that it is or it could be a loss the fact that the user is not buying the program but illegally copying it could be a loss for uh, the computer industry. So A doesn't uh, uh, give you a good enough reason why the loss to the industry is quite small. B says most people who illegally copy programs would not purchase them even if purchasing them were the only way to obtain them. Now this looks interesting because what it says is the only reason these people are illegally copying programs is because they can. But if the illegal copying was to be completely banned or stopped somehow, then these people would never buy the program because they don't really have any use for them. So in that case, the loss to the computer industry is actually quite small because these people were anyway never going to buy their programs. It's just because it's illegally available, they're downloading it. But if it were not, they would never pay for it. So then there is no loss as such. So B looks like a good option. Let's hold it. C says, even if uh, the computer industry received all the revenue it claims to be losing, it would still be experiencing financial difficulties. Yeah, that is fine, but at least the financial difficulties would be a little less than what it is right now. So that's not a good enough reason to uh, allow people to copy programs. So uh, not a good enough answer. B says the total market value of all illegal copies is low in comparison to the total revenue of the computer industry. Yeah, that's fine, but still. I'm still, I mean, whatever I'm losing out through that illegal copying is a loss for me. Why should I face that loss? He says, the number of programs that are frequently copied illegally is low in comparison to the number of programs available for sale. Same problem as with option D. Just because the number is low does not mean that I should be okay with it. I mean, it's still a loss for me. Why should I um, take that loss? So B for Boston gives you the best explanation for why the loss to the computer industry is quite small because these people were anyway never going to pay for your program. So then there is no loss for you. So that should be the answer. On a difficulty scale of 1 to 5, I would give this one a 3. Have a nice day.